this is fashion. It's fashion, okay? Okay. And are you ready for this? Action! I was like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do introduction. I always get really weird doing introductions with other people. Like, how does this introduction work? I'll you just, just you'll just use this. Hey everyone, so I am with Arena, who you've probably you met in a video? I've never been in a video before. I'm so, excited for my YouTube fame to like skyrocket from this point on. So come out to the thrift haul today because we both did a, a good amount of thrifting over break. There's a sea of clothes. There below is. Us. <laughs> yeah, it's spreading right now. I'm like, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. <laughs> okay, well, we live, as you know, in Boston, and I feel like there's a lack of like super good thrifting here. Yes. So for me, going home back to like not a super small town, but just in general, like not a huge city, I just dive straight into this abyss of amazing clothing that's mm -hmm. like from all the grandmas and from all the people <laughs> who like abandoned it somewhere. So yes. I feel like in general, in cities, they bump this stuff up and they're like, it's vintage. Right before break, I went thrifting in Boston actually and got a couple of things. I just went to a Goodwill that we have in Cambridge and then going home I went to two different Goodwills that are like that are, that are my go-to's and so that's where the majority of this came from. Mine and pa to pass it on to <laughs> I'm, so <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Woo! The thrift stores in my town, they're not like um, chains, if that makes sense. So they're just oh, random, okay. like they'll be called, it'll call, be called like thrift center. But it's like everyone in my town just knows that it's like yeah, a thrift yeah. store. So a lot of these are from places that you can't That's necessarily fun. go to. There's one thing from Buffalo Exchange, which is like kind of a rip-off thrift store. But yeah, the rest <laughs> of it is, I know I'm like looking down at it. <laughs> it's like not gonna make any sense for you, but there's one, there's a couple items from Thrift Town, which I don't know if you have outside of California, but it's actually, fun fact for all the movie lovers out there, the Thrift Town that I oh. go to is the one from Lady Bird, where they're like, the scene where the mom, so cute. they find the dress and like all that stuff, That's the one cute. I go to, so. Aww. Like the yes. exact one? Yeah, like the one they shot at in Sacramento, wow. which is cool. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna go through jackets, dresses slash skirts, tops, and sweaters. And you have a mm -hmm. pair of shoes. I do have a pair of shoes. Save that for the last. Wow. All right. Do we want to start with like shirts? shirts? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Go first. All right. So the first thing that I got is this tank top. It's like just a little, I don't know the terminology of any clothing, but like overlapped V kind of thing. And I think it's super flattering and it's nice. Even just wear with jeans. I feel like it dresses it up a lot. I and really wonder if you could put a black turtleneck underneath that, like a tight one. I think that I can put a black turtleneck like, under everything and you can't. Like that doesn't work like that. Me. But. And I don't know, I like wearing this with like mixed patterns because it's calm enough that you can wear it with like another pattern. So I really like this. How much was that? Do you remember how oh, much yeah. this I mean, I most don't of it. Everything's like under $5 for me. And most things are like $3.99. That's like yeah. the general price, unless it's like a coat or a blazer, which I'll explain. But yeah, everything's pretty much $3.99. I'm gonna turn my sound off. Okay, okay. <laughs> So this was presumably either $2.99 or $3.99. The first shirt I have is a little Harley Davidson tank top. It's a size large, so it's a little bit too big for me, but I could not pass these up. I found like six of them in different shades and patterns. It's so fun. It has like a little star in the back has like a logo that says like California, Harley Davidson, Jamestown. It's fun. I just said that about your shirt, but I feel like I could put a black turtleneck underneath this and maybe yeah. that'll work. Yeah, I just thought it was a fun color. I don't know. I bought a lot of colorful things because I was just trying to like spice it up a little yeah. bit. Here's the other one. I have like several others, but I didn't bring really them. Cute. This is my favorite. This is like the one that I actually wear the most. I love the little, I don't know what this is called, but baseball, baseball tee kind of thing. It's um, baseball. Baseball. This is called baseball. <laughs> From Milwaukee. Is that Wisconsin? Yeah. Mi is that Milwaukee. how you say? Milwaukee? I think it's Milwaukee. Milwaukee. This one is 2001. I don't know. I just think it's a fun color. It also has the little like the logo thing. on the back. Love it. Love it. I win. <laughs> On the, on the trend of blue, I bought a lot of blue things over break, and it was like specifically in one haul, I bought like three blue things, and I was like, okay, I'm also wearing blue, blue now. The, this looks like it would be a weird shape. It kind of flares out at the bottom, but it's like fitted enough that it's not, and I just like would never wear a turtleneck not tucked in, so yeah, it's like, doesn't really matter. Yeah. But I really love the whole short sleeve, like, forearm length, tight fitted like turtleneck because I think it's so nice not only to wear it on its own but also to layer like that's so cute with overalls yes. so cute with like kind of a baggy tee but yeah overalls really cute with dresses really nice like tucked into jeans I don't know I'm very happy about this because I've been wanting something of the sort for a very long time that it cuts at the perfect place and it just fits super super nicely. Thrift stores are a perfect place to find like cool basics too because I feel like 
I'm never ever inclined to like buy a basic from like like I guess what's the first hand? What is the word for like not yeah, second hand? From a store. I never am just inclined to be like, oh plain shirt. I'm always yeah. like I whenever I like want to buy something, it's usually like an item of like I don't know, something more like fun or crazy or just like, you in can't general. Get other, like yeah. yeah, exactly. So I feel like thrift stores are great for just the most basic mm -hmm. thing. Okay, next thing. Another t-shirt. Once again, I feel like these are boring, but maybe not. I don't know. I feel like it's the number one thing I buy at thrift stores are like stupid t-shirts that I usually end up wearing to bed, but like, they're like a nice soft yeah. material and like cut like an oatmeal. Like, this like I love nice. like an oatmeal color. Mm -hmm. So this just says I'm big in Japan, the sumo wrestler, which <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Also, this is like fuzzy, which is cool. I'm not touching the boob, but it's okay. But yeah, I just like this color in general. I have something else that I'll show you that I like to put underneath. Like this goes underneath it because I just love the like color and it's just like mm -hmm. a soft, nice t-shirt, which is like a fun graphic. I feel like you can never go wrong with a good graphic tee. This one's another like kind of silly one, but it's fun. I like, I like was very attracted this break to buying like a lot of like 2000s-esque things, which is normally not really my style. Like I'm more inclined to be more like 70s. Like I love yeah. like, a, like flare pants and like a cool blouse. But for some reason I was very attracted to like all of these kinds of graphics. This one is like from a surf shop in Monterey. I mean, I got it at their store, but like it was at one point uh, some somebody's like tourist attraction. Oh, one more. Okay, once again, I feel like all of my thrift store purchases are things that I'm like, are borderline questionable. <laughs> but I'm like, when things oh, are so point, cheap, like, I'm like, when something's like $2, I'm like, I could try it. Like, it's yeah. a good way to like experiment with your wardrobe, I feel yes. like. If you're gonna mess around with fashion, do it at a thrift store, because like, there's not really a huge consequence to like, you're doing something like yeah. better with your money. You like, just genuinely have to be more impulsive because you can't do the whole, oh, if I'm still thinking about it and in two days, I'll come back and get it. Like yeah. you have one chance to get it. So it's like, if, it, if something really speaks to you, like you'll get it because it's like yeah. you're inclined to get it. And how many times can I say get it? Which I think is fun because I'm a super indecisive person. I mean, sometimes it's nice because then you're like, I'm so glad that I purchased this. But also sometimes you do get kind of duds where you're like, this was unnecessary and I didn't end up wearing this. This shirt I got, this is from 1994, which is kind of cool. Definitely like a dad shirt, but I thought it would be cool, like open over like a little tank top, like a ribbed tank top. I thought the colors were really pretty. Like it's it's, it's toned kind of pale, like, like I don't know, I just liked it a lot and for some reason it was speaking to me so I got it. It fits like in a nice size for me, it's not like completely yeah. oversized. I don't know, it's just like a good comfy item. Once again, a turtleneck underneath. underneath with like some black pants. This is like me trying to channel my like skater boy persona. I feel like every morning when I get dressed there's like three ways that I go and it's mm -hmm. either like little boy, like extremely feminine or just like lazy. For me it's usually little boy and that's what I end up doing like with this. Or sweaters. sweaters. Yeah, I do sweaters. I only want to say that because I'm kind of cold and I want to put this on <laughs> <laughs> and it's sitting right here. Yeah. So this is one of my favorite purchases. I've gotten in a while. So it's, I kind of want to say sweater slash like jacket. It's so soft. I know it's super soft. It's got this like awesome frilly texture that is pretty unique and like sneeze. nice. <laughs> I just sneezed while I, <laughs> like it's so cute. I don't know. You might want to start over. <laughs> or, or just keep going. I'll just keep, keep going. my sneeze. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll keep your sneeze. In. And then there's also some like really awesome, like more chunky buttons, which I love. And it's like, I don't want to say cropped, but it's like short enough that it's not like long. It comes to a really nice like hip length, which I really love. But anyways, I'm super into this and it's awesome with like a graphic tee and jeans me with everything that I've purchased. Yep. But also it's really nice with like a dress or like a skirt. And I think it's a nice way to um, add a little character to any outfit. Mm -hmm. Let's add some character to this outfit. Let's, let's have some I didn't know what to wear before this, so I threw on this tank top and yeah. I'm not happy with my decision. So. But like that looks so cute with that. Also the color works perfectly. I had this thing over over the break where I was like, like I said, the 2000s were coming at me. This is the first one. I like the idea of them. I was telling Arena this multiple times over break. I tried a couple on mm -hmm. and then was like, I'm never going to wear this. Like, I feel like I'm going to make you put these on with the pants you're wearing right now because it looks so good. <laughs> Once again, it's too big for me, but I kind of like that look. It's, it's a really large, nice rib. It's like a ribbed thing. army green sweater vest. I like these over t-shirts or like over the turtleneck. <laughs> Turtleneck count would like, also be a drinking game at this point. But honestly, uh, yeah, it's like very soft. It's just a nice, comfy thing, and also like good for layering because I feel like it gives you like some layer of warmth. The other one I got, my mom says it makes me look like a little businessman on his way home from work, or like a teacher. I feel like a substitute teacher. But I love the like. Guy. It's so cute though. The the little line on the bottom. This is also like homemade. Like there's no tag on it. It's like very much like knit. Like you can tell this is just like somebody made this. I don't know. You can make your own it's judgments about it, but I like it. The next sweater I have. I'm really excited about it actually. It's just a nice like cream chunky knit sweater. It's not wool so it's not like 
deathly scratchy. And there's just this like gray and pink detailing, which I think is super cute. Also these sleeves that do the I know, like, it's where they like come, come to a little like end there. It's just so precious. Like there's something <laughs> about this it that is makes me happy. And it's also like warm, like it's like chunky, which is appreciated in the North. I got this at the place in Boston. I have one like sweater shirt thing that I didn't show. I just forgot to bring it back. I got this nice Tommy Hilfiger. It, I mean, it's just good quality, which makes sense because that's like a nicer brand, but it's not so thick that it's crazy, but it just feels, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like a nice sweater. You know what this sweater reminds me of? It's like what your dad would wear on Christmas. Like it's, like it's his holiday sweater. Like I wore this around the house a lot when I was home. And then also it's nice to like tuck, do a little French tuck in jeans or, <laughs> or like a little French tuck. Sorry. Or, or over, like I have this long like silk slip dress kind of thing that I like it over. Oh, so and it's, I don't know, happy about that because I feel like I don't have too many good sweaters and the ones that I have I wear all the time. Last sweater I have is this. She's so beautiful. It's like, that's like the, this is the pretty girl of sweaters. It's this nice like warm baby blue cashmere sweater slash colored shirt it's very much just the style of like any other uniform kind of quarter button uh -huh. collared shirt except it's super soft like cashmere kind of well definitely oversized and and i really love that all right to so transition us into away from Dresses. warmth <laughs> yes away from uh, warmth and into like what is essentially a summer piece but i am so in love with this i have like an addiction to buying slips and things at the thrift store because they have so many of them and this one i just couldn't get over the like print like it's so fun like, i've never seen anything <gasps> like the this little ruffle, like, right? lettuce it has like, the little lettuce oh it's so cute and like the joy in being short is that like <laughs> these things fit me as a dress i got this dress and i'm absolutely in love with it i'm so excited about it so this is like older gap and there's like this very baby v-neck and it's just like this is brown i don't know an ambiguous brown <laughs> with purple flowers and the little bottom oh, has like so purple with blue flowers and it's just like i i'm a slut for anything floral this makes me excited for spring so this and like it feels like a like, little gardening dress like yeah. i just picture you like out in the yard like because it's also a super in cool material and like it's not so cool like stylish i mean like like temperature Cold. wise like yeah. cool and so it'll be great for just like in around in the house yeah hello again my camera stopped so we talked for 10 minutes and yeah. didn't record. So now we're gonna sound like, I feel like now when we talk, we're gonna sound like we're like robotic. reading a script. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> we're like just repeating said it. what we said like 10 minutes Damn. ago, but it's okay. It's fine. I'll come up with new things commentary. we gotta do. So um, finish off the skirt jacket. dress Oh yeah. Category. I've been really into longer skirts at the moment, specifically with layering. I love the look of that with like a trench coat. Yeah, yeah. Hold for sound. I wanted like a polka dot one for a while, but this is a more like grid checkered kind of thing. Black and white, so it goes with everything. And it's like a nice like silky material, which like buttons down the front, which is- It's fun too, because I feel like in the summer, I love these kinds of things. I have a dress yeah. like this because you can like show some leg. Oh, like, truly. Like because it buttons open, like exactly. you kind of have it like very like goddess flowing in the wind yes. kind of thing. Like I feel like that's sort sure. of fun. I am a big jacket person. I, maybe because we live in the north, yeah, but I also- Yeah, I before I moved here, I was like, I wasn't a jacket yeah. person. I think California jackets like really aren't like, okay. you, well, it's also easier to have like fashionable jackets mm -hmm. when you're like in a place that's not super cold. So I think like these are good old, like a lot of the things that we have are like good items for cold weather, but like yeah. still to me are cute and like can work for with sure. like fun, cute, colorful outfits. So the first one I'm gonna start with is this, which I got actually in Boston. It is a like North Face windbreaker and I'm a big windbreaker person because they're great to layer. <laughs> I'm like trying my very best. It's a windbreaker. It just looks like a- It's a windbreaker. It looks like a mass of fabric. It's nice to have a shell because if you're wearing a warm outfit, if you have like layers and a sweater, whatnot, you know, it's nice. But sometimes if it's like drizzling or like snowing a little bit, you need a little like cover. Mm -hmm. And so this has a hood, which also has plaid in it, which is super cute. Okay, this jacket. I feel like I've spoken about this jacket three times now. So that, maybe- I think my you are, Yeah. I'm but so this sorry. Is, this is what I like to call- What do we like to call it, Kate? The Hillary, the Hillary Clinton, Clinton jacket. jacket. <laughs> it's just like a very- Ooh, sorry to this bowl. It's like a very nicely shaped shoulder pad, kind of like fitted. Politician. Um, politician kind of like blazer-y 
feels like it's like a part of a pantsuit kind of thing. I was really attracted to the color. You're talking about how we like these pockets a lot because it kind of feels like a utility jacket kind of esque pocket, but on a very like sophisticated yeah. little jacket. Like you were kind of talking about like a more all black outfit. Yeah. I think that'd be super cute with like a graphic tee yeah. and black denim and then like docks, which is it's a bit plays into the more like utility aspect yeah. of the jacket, but it still has that pop of color because it is like a dull Yeah, such as taking the whole vibe of the jacket and then like putting it with an outfit that's not at all that vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's like fun to mix those two together. I also have a blazer. So this is my favorite thing ever now. Dream come true. So this was a great, great, great find. <laughs> A great find! A jolly find! You hear that, Arena? A great, great find. A great find. In the earlier version of us filming this, uh, Arena said that this was her favorite piece of the whole haul. Yeah. Which is crazy news. She to sent me. me a picture of this when she found it yes. in the store, and I like lost Before you my even mind. purchased it. Yeah. I was Incredible. Like, this is insane. Like, it's my favorite thing ever. We're like fiends for blazers, I feel oh, like. Oh, truly. Me and Arena have a very similar style, which is super funny because we always show up in the same thing. Yeah. We also always wear like blazers. And borderline, like, I mean, like, look at this. Like, this is... Literally, if I put on my other glasses right now, no difference. Yeah, or no different. Like, some round little ones. Like, it's kind of scary. Especially because I cut my hair recently, so we literally have the same haircut now. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is so frightening. Now we're getting distracted. It's the perfect size for, like, an oversized blazer, because it's not so big that I, like, just, like, get swallowed in it. Mm -hmm. The shoulders come right after my shoulders, which is, like, nice for an oversized thing. The length is great. The arm length is perfect. And it has, like, this awesome structure that is just really nice. And the inside it's is just so, so little well shiny. Made. It I is. Feel like it's it, feels... Like, it feels fancy. Like, it feels like somebody who wore this was, like, at a tea party or something. I hope they were of the sort. Blue and brown and green and orange and red, so it goes with literally anything. You know what's really strange that I just thought of? It's what? giving me a little lemon vibe. Because you know how Jo always wears, like, the little vests and, like, jackets, like, over yeah. her, like, oh, oh, it's her picture Ooh. of Jo here. I hope it's like actually similar and I'm not just crazy. <laughs> my last jacket peep, my last thing of the entire haul is this vintage, like very vintage. Like the tag looks like 70s probably, but it's essentially just a puffer, like kind of awesome massive dark green. green. Um, a little bit too big for me, but I like it like that. Especially, I just don't own a lot of clothing that's like fit for like snow. The only bummer is that it's missing its hood. Like it has buttons that it used to have a hood and it now doesn't have one, which is kind of a struggle. But I like to pair it with a little like bucket hats are my yeah. go-to for like rain and snow or like a little beanie and it's fun. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just love it. It's a good color. Very cute. Nice and oversized. So it just kind of like wraps you up and like makes you feel warm and nice. And it yeah. literally fits over any. That one was from Buffalo Exchange. So it's a little bit more on the expensive side. I think it was like 20 bucks, but like for Columbia, that's like yeah. not a bad price. My second to last thing, but last quote is this awesome red leather jacket. This is like kind of a bold piece, dare I, I say. It. Feels again, like super well made, which is kind of crazy, but it's like genuine lambskin, which like obviously I would never purchase firsthand, but Arena and I were actually talking about this last night. Cause yeah. We, it was this last night. Yeah. And when you're buying from someplace like Goodwill, which is where I purchased this from, like it's not directly or even indirectly supporting like the leather industry in any way. Mm -hmm. Once it's in Goodwill's hands, it's only to Goodwill. Like, exactly. It's not benefiting that company. And like, I would never give my money to a leather company but like i feel fine wearing it i'm not particularly uncomfortable wearing it i mean it's genuine but it's like you wouldn't you even be that. able like i was wearing a pleather thing yesterday and i feel like standing next to each other yeah. you would never be able to tell it just like feels like it's made super well i feel like it's a great balance between a staple piece but also a statement piece yeah because it's bold but also it's super realistic it's practical i think that's a nice nice thing there's also some fun stitchings here and there <laughs> last thing these are really like thrifted but a second hand item i got i've been wanting like oxford docks for a while i found these on depop which are super unique because they have like super cool stitching and stuff that is not made anymore i've I don't never seen think. anything like that i've been wearing these non-stop because these are so good with dresses and skirts but also denim with lady with everything so these were 68 dollars off of depop and it was free shipping so it was just that it's which super bad i don't think it's about dogs. all for like a pair like a pair of shoes that I'm gonna wear for a long time. Yeah, like, I have to like protect your toes. Protect the toes. Oh, I'm so tired now. Okay. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing our purchases. Thanks um, for letting me be on the YouTube cave. I made it. Of course. I made it finally. Thanks <laughs> for watching. How many let us know if you like this video. Let us know if you want to see more of Arena. Let us know <gasps> if. Comments are like, no. Everything. No more arena. You know? No more arena. <laughs> Please get her out of here. Never again. Uh, can we throw them up in the air? Sure. One, two, three.
Wow. <laughs> I'm stuck on a mug. <laughs>